A state law change in 2019 may have be may have had unintended consequences today. The law meant that 16 and 17 year olds were no longer automatically prosecuted as adults. Now members of law enforcement say juvenile offenders are getting even younger. WRAL's fateful reporter Gilbert Bays joins us now live with a story you'll see only on WRAL. Gilbert. Well, Deborah, I couldn't believe some of the stories I was told today. An 8- and 12-year-old caught by police breaking into a home. Last week, teenagers led police on a high-speed chase. They crashed, flipped that vehicle. Fortunately, it's a miracle nobody was hurt, but when they checked that car, they found automatic, automatic weapons inside the vehicle. Police say the youthful offenders are just getting younger and younger. Police say a drive-by shooting last week outside the Red Roof Inn on Cedar Creek Road involved two teenagers. That's where a woman was shot in the leg. Two days earlier, a man was killed outside the travel lodge on the same road. Once again, police say the incident involved teens. You know, it's getting to the point where it's reality. An eight-year-old doing crime, that's not the first, the, the first time uh, a 12-year-old and 13-year-old with a gun shooting at somebody. Law enforcement agencies across the state say they are having a difficult time getting Department of Juvenile Justice to approve secured custody orders for youthful offenders. But William Lassiter, Deputy Secretary of Juvenile Justice, says they've seen an uptick in crimes involving young offenders, and juvenile detention centers across the state are at 90 percent capacity. We are responding with more secure custody orders than we ever have in, over the last decade, but I do understand that sometimes our decision may be different than what law enforcement may be seeking in that particular case. It's, it's a vicious circle right now, and when we see 8-year-olds, 12-year-olds, and it's typical, that is an anomaly. It's, it's, it's getting to a point that I'm not too sure if we're um, going to just uh, 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 come up with a solution overnight with it. Lassiter says the solution isn't just locking teens up. The reason why we do that is because we know mixing a kid that's low risk that may have committed a low level crime often causes that kid to pick up bad behavior and bad habits. The state says granting secure custody for juvenile offenders is a very difficult balancing act. And so our goal is to make sure that we maintain public safety, but also do what's in the best interest of children. And ultimately, the responsibility belongs to parents. We've got to stop saying, not my kid, not my grandkid, not my nephew, not my niece. It is. It's our children doing this. And Lassiter says he understands the frustration of lawmen across the state. That's why he's meeting with sheriffs and uh, police chiefs across the state. Deborah, he says he's keeping an open mind to change. Pretty incredible stories you were sharing there. Gilbert Bay is live in Fayetteville. Thank you, Gilbert.